Hey y'all, it's Teresa from Simply Made Fun, and today I am going to show you how easy it is to use the monograms font from defont.com to make your own monogram with your initials. Um, you can see on my screen that I have this mandala, the blue design right here, and then inside I have my initials. And the way I did, there are a couple different ways you can do it um, in the Silhouette software, but I went the easy route because I'm all about keeping things simple. And I come over to my text tool and I already have the monogram font up. And so I just type in my initials, TCA. And as you can see, it brings up three different um, um, monograms and you don't want monograms with all the same letter in them so what you're going to do is ungroup and release your compound path and let's delete all these circles um, you will get the circles around the monogram if you have the caps lock on if you don't it'll um, when you write out your initials they'll come up and look like what you see on the screen right now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and delete all the letters that I don't need. And you're, I'm left with my three initials. And all I have to do is drag over uh, my initials, move them in where I want them. Oh, let's uh, make that compound path for the letter A. Come back. And let's see how that looks. Let's bring the A out just a little bit more. There we go. And there we go. I've made my monogram. Um, I'm happy with it. So what I will go and do is I will fill in the layer the way I want it. Um, I like to group everything. That way when I move it around, um, it all stays together. And then I'll come up here. Now see up here I actually moved the T and the A in a little closer. So let's actually go back and do that. Um, I think that's close to where I would like it. All right, now let's group everything, and then we'll delete, ungroup this, and then delete the one up top. And what I do is I will bring it in, and then resize it until it fits. And that is the super easy way to do a monogram in the Silhouette software. Now, when you go and cut it, I have the designer edition of the Silhouette Studio. And so I can go in and under advanced, I can hit fill color and it'll only cut out the blue or it'll only cut out the black depending on what I, um, what I decide to cut first. If you don't have the um, designer edition, all you would have to do is delete oh. you would let's say you delete one layer and then you'd go and um, cut that one out and then um, add the layer back in and cut it out again um, or and cut out the missing layer um, that's kind of a workaround it's it it's a little more work that way but it's how you would cut multiple layers and it works um, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye.